So what are you doing on this lovely Sunday, Willis? On back of the track, and let me let me show you the reason why. Uh oh, what is? That? Oh no. Yeah, that's what I need to do. So much easier than with vicious and delicious, you know, left and right. <laughs> I did not, um, well, why, why I didn't film the other day because it was just pretty boring. As you can see here, the big giant mess that I got going on, that is the banners that are still usable, but we don't necessarily need them. Uh, just some trash, some other stuff, but you guys ready to see the difference? Bam! Look at this. I'm not done yet, but needless to say, like I said, I was working hard on it, trying to get it all done, get it all organized. I still got this little area right here. I have to get cleaned up and this, but pretty much, as you can see, the whole entire trailer, it has never actually looked like this, to be honest with you, from what I've been told and understand and have seen. Needless to say, we got it all done. But I'm not here to actually really work on this today. I will probably a little bit. Look, there's a bug flying right in front of me. See it? But what I am going to do is clean up a little bit, and I got to take my ramp out of my trailer. Look, boom, got it right there, right behind the tractor or the loader. So I'm going to go ahead and unload the ramp, take the airbag out. I'm going to store that here because I need to actually start working on building my shop, and that's that's what I want to do. So that is, well, today's project. Are you guys ready? Set, go. Oh. <laughs> so the New York crew showed up, and I better check my sound before I record anymore. Let me check. So you were loud, I can hear you. It's just whatever meditations with Willis. So yeah, man, it's a beautiful day out. I'm here at one of my favorite places, other than Tube Town. Oh yeah, and everybody, what'd you think about the Tube Town video? Did you see that? Did, did you see all the possibilities of where Tube Town could go, baby? <laughs> So never, never mind my mess in here. It's, it's definitely, well, it's a mess. It's a mess, and it's, that's why I got to get this out of here. Can you see it? I got to get this out of here, this out of here. I'm going to go ahead and store it here. That way I can um, get my shop going. Oh, yeah. You ready for that, aren't you? Just pulled out the generator. I'm going to go and crank it up. It looks like it leaks something there. I don't know what the deal is. I got to figure that out. See what's going on with it. Let a little more fuel get in there. Choke it. Let it run for a minute, and then we'll let it run out of gas again. Just want to make sure it stays charged. Oh, look at where I'm at, what I got. <laughs> so I'm just pulling stuff out little by little. I'm going to have to replace this deck here. Oh, look. How did I get there? What you doing with a sticker? What is that? Oh no. I see a bunch of ants in this. Ooh, trying out some new machinery over there. You know why, right? Well, because that guy not only has this facility, but he also does that right there. He makes those guys. So there's all kinds of Sunday fun going on around here. Wink, wink. All right, shoot the rest of this out of here. Now, I did see a bunch of carpenter ants here. I got a feeling some carpenter ants made inside the old. That's the old top sheet. I'm going to use that actually for a pond liner at the house. Now it'd be blue. But I'm going to go ahead and roll it out of here and watch the ants come a flying. 
Oh yeah, there they are. I hope we won't get this out of here. Oh, and ants are everywhere. Ah, look at them. No, no, no. Ah, oh boy, they are everywhere. Whew. Okay, well now they're gonna be all over my stuff. That's no fun. They're in that acid turf right there too. Let them go, let them go. Yeah, so definitely a uh, bunch of carpenter ants. Anyhow, there, I'm just gonna let them all kind of dwindle out, then I'll get in here and start unstrapping this stuff and get this bad boy out of here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Wait till you hear, brrr, brrr. You'll probably hear that too. Watch your step. Yeah, so one of the things I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cover this because when the wheels come down there, uh, they'll wanna probably fall in that. So I need to put something down there and then um, then I'm gonna get that and I'm just gonna pull it real hard. Hopefully it comes out and whoosh, it's supposed to roll right out, but we'll see. So if you see here, I made these, I got these, I took one of those things and I cut it up. It's like for wheels. Whoa, ants everywhere. And I got those underneath it. Okay, I need to unlock the wheels. There we go. All right. Whew. Thing's not light. So yeah, I got the little, whatever the little, little thing bobbers are. That way the wheels can go boop, 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 up and over. That's what I need to do. Yeah, boop, 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 boop. that's what I need to do. I didn't film it, but what I did was I went ahead and Got us some boxes I put down there over the holes. We'll have some astroturf turf where some more ants were at. Then when I pull that down, hopefully it just. And if you saw the one video where I did it with my truck a long time ago, and it took out that one cable that's right there. That's come there's only one cable in there. So ideally, I don't want to take that out. Hopefully with the trailer on a little bit of lean, that it came out this way right here. And then I'll go ahead and get the skiddy, pick it up, move it, get out the way, and then uh, pull the takeoff ramp out. Do the same thing. So what I do is I get this strap right here, and actually, before, we can, and I'm just going to chant it just because, hope that don't backfire on me, but um, I'm just going to pull and let it come. Usually I have the straps where it stops, then I can guide it, guide it down, but I don't want to do that. I just want to run with it. See what happens. What do you think? I forgot. I got the winch in there that doesn't work anymore. Let me take that out. Oh, wait a minute. Never. No, I don't have to take that out of the bag. That's for the ramp. I'll get that next. But the bag, yeah, we got to unlock the brakes, hook it up, and drag it out. Whew. Well, the one cool thing about it is once I drag it and get down here, it's not like at the house where I don't have machinery. Um, <laughs> makes it a lot easier. Luckily, the bag is strapped to the car so the bag shouldn't fall off. But I'm going to hook up to those, the strap right there and get the pull and see what happens. You guys ready? Beep. Zoom me back, zoom me in, zoom me out. Let's give you a little bit right about there. How's that? All right. Let's see what happens. Ready? Gotta get the wheel spun around. Oh no! Yeah. Whew. I went off the edge a little bit, but. I saved it. I did it. Oh yeah, baby. Now I'm about to show you the fun, easy part. How I get to moving now. So much easier than with vicious and delicious. You know, left and right. Oh yeah. Ow, ow, that doesn't sound good. Oh yeah. So much easier. You ready? <laughs> wow.
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it back here in this back corner we don't use, and uh, just stick the bag back here underneath the overhang whoa, overhang for now, and then uh, I'll leave the ramp out in the weather because it's just metal. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna stick it stick it right there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Man, that was, that was so much easier. Oof, thank you. Okay, we got that out of here. Now, this has wheels, and it's a lot easier to get out of here than the other thing, that's for sure. But um, needless to say, we got to get this out now. Then maybe I'll crank my bike up. Go for a ride? Maybe? Maybe not. We'll see. Well, I looked at the radar, and it didn't show no rain. Well, it'll start raining, because I got all kinds of stuff that can't get wet out right now. So I've gotten the... They got some of my speakers and stuff out of, out of the front there because that goes here. Let me show you. That's actually on top of the ramp. <laughs> it's a mess in here because the last show I just threw it all in and wanted to get out of there and get home. But, um, so yeah, can you see it? All that stuff was up on top of that. And it, it actually, I organized a little bit better, but I haven't. Um, I, sometimes after the shows, man, you just spent, you just want to get everything loaded up and get out of there because you got 12 hours to drive. And, uh, yeah, so. Usually on the way to the shows, it really looks, looks nice, but then on the way home, it's bad. <laughs> so luckily with this little contraption, I'll just go ahead and take up my little things here. Oh, more ants under it. Oh, you guys can't hide it no more. Tighten that up. I gotta get it the back over the see the winch down there. I got a new one, it's Sam and Sharon since a long time ago. I just ain't got it in here yet. Oh, I figure it's on a hill. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Look at that little hump. My goodness. So this is a procedure. They get this out of here. And you just gotta get out the way. Usually with two people, it's a little bit easier. But here it comes. So that's what happens. The front end hits right there, so I jack it the rest of the way up and I roll it on out. So that's how that works. And then luckily, I got the skid steer. Just like that. Now see here, I got the things for the forks. Stick the forks right in there and easy peasy. Or I can just hook up a chain or rope and drag it if I wanted. Definitely not gonna push it, that's for sure. <laughs> Bring it out just a little bit more so I can get to it with the forks. Get to it with the forks. There we go. All right. I'll send it off fly. Oh, I can't wait there. But I'm spin. Like this. Watch your toes. <laughs> All right. Boy, it's looking like I'll be racing the rain here pretty soon. All right, let's get this forklift on here and out the way. Sorry for all the heavy breathing. It's just, uh, it's hot. I know some of you have been talking about it's like snowing where you're at. But well, almost jumping to Cory weather here. Actually, right now. It is jumping a quarry button. You know why just a little bit? Why just a little bit?
See, you see this? Can you guys see this? Check this out. If you guys are wondering what that cord is for, that safety cable, when I pick this up, that will not allow that to fall down further. So that's what that cable zord holds that axle up when I pick this up. Here, you'll see what I'm talking about. See? Watch out! There we go. Boy, I might have to put that stuff back in there. It's all right though. I probably should do that now. Let's turn this off. It does look like the rain's coming. Oh, you guys fell down. And that's the one thing about it. If you guys can still hear me, you still on? Yeah, you are. Um, oh, the thing's off. But uh, once that stuff gets wet, it's hard to get the truck out of here. So I'm definitely gonna load this up in a hurry now that I think about it. It gets really greasy. So we're throwing this stuff back in. Okay, I beat the rain. Now they're going back this thing up, move that, put that up, and finish up. Woo! Hot. Whoa, look at them right there. How do I get them off? They're everywhere. Last time this bike started was about a year ago at, at this race. It is Yamaha though. See if it see if it start. Just kind of cycle the piston a few times. Throw the choke on. Second kick, baby. That's the first if I wasn't enough fuel in it. Oh, two smokers. Oh, yeah. Why not? Take a ride around some cross track. Why not? So I took a just a little lap around the track, just having fun. Starting to sprinkle now. I gotta get out there and get my truck out of there because like I said, once this area right here gets wet, it's uh, a slime pit. Oh yeah, just in time. <laughs> 